Black Souls is a JRPG with horror themes developed by a single deranged Japanese man. It takes inspiration from a wide variety of sources like children's literature and, unsurprisingly, Dark Souls, if its title didn't tip you off. It is a journey of self-reflection and lofty goals like saving the world and... and, and, and it's a porn game. It, it, it's a porn game. There's no sugar coating in here. It's a hentai game. But, but, but wait, 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 wait. I'm here to argue that even though it can be pornographic and violent and visceral, you should play Black Souls. If you've ever heard of Black Souls, you probably heard of it because of its story. At first glance, it is fairly straightforward. Defeat the four princesses, then take on Cinderella to end the evil fog. But what was that mysterious library from the beginning? It must be connected to all of these fairy tale books that we keep finding. Who exactly is Alice? Who are we? Even our main objective, to rid the world of the evil fog, doesn't seem to add up. You soon come to realize that everything in Black Souls is not exactly what it seems and even your party members are not just a witch, not just a maid, not just a fairy. While the story is intriguing and full of mysteries, I'd argue that the way it is conveyed is just as important as the content inside of it. The story is told through various methods, dialogue between characters, item descriptions, easter eggs, trying to do something that you're not supposed to know about yet. By using all of these different avenues and encouraging experimentation, it makes it feel like the player is in control of the direction of the story, at least to some degree. And exploration and experimentation is at the core of Black Souls. You might want to try different dialogue paths or visiting areas in different order per playthrough because the game rewards you with a different point of view. One more fragment of the story. One more piece of your fractured mind. Will you listen to the fairy and defeat Cinderella? Will you side with the princesses instead? Will you collect all the fairy tale books and figure out what's going on? It's your story to write. Much like the story, the combat in Black Souls has hidden depths that are not obviously apparent. The encounters look like your standard, kinda bland, turn-based JRPG battles, but you very quickly find out that the game cheats. Black Souls feels very unfair. You'll find a boss that is seemingly impossible, enormous helpful, and an attack power that one-shots you before you can do anything. And it's true. Black Souls is skewed very much so in your favor, provided that you have the knowledge. With the right items and preparation, you can take on any boss at any level, no matter how overpowered. The fights end up feeling more like puzzles rather than a battle. You have items that make most physical attacks miss, rings that give you a whole extra turn per turn, and they stack. The ability to call on friends to make yourself even more buffed and overpowered. You can get spells that make it so that you never miss an attack. Grinding and leveling up in Black Souls only helps a little. Thinking outside of the box and experimenting to see what works is a much more worthwhile and rewarding experience. You have the power to choose and build your character in different ways. I opted to maximize dodge and evade most physical attacks while healing any magic damage. But you can very easily change equipment and make it so that you can take on most attacks head on. Many different strategies work. The game gives you this freedom. The game gives you agency. It is this agency in both gameplay and storytelling that makes Black Souls... Okay, okay. I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. Black Souls is a hentai game. It contains some horrific things done to a lot of ladies. And some guys, too. I don't think that is the main motivation to play Black Souls, though. It feels more like a horror game that contains sex scenes rather than a hentai game proper. I'd argue that the scenes are superfluous to the story itself. The world of Black Souls is disgusting and horrible, and the sexual content is one more disgusting and horrible thing inside of this world. It's written to be horrible in every single aspect, and the game gives the player the choice to engage in it. Even within the context of the horrible world, the choices that you make are abhorrent. At the end of the day, you can do whatever you want. It's a video game. It's one more thing that the player has access to. But by making such things accessible, the world feels more impactful, more raw. It feels like everything in this world is terrible, and you can make it even more terrible. You can become terrible yourself. Having the choice to do this, 
helps sell the bleakness and the hopelessness of this world. But you don't have to do any of this. It is in the player's control whether you engage in such content. In fact, there is a toggle at the start of the game that mostly removes it. The game gives you the agency to do what you want. It always feels like you have a choice. You're never forced to do anything terrible. If you do, you chose to do it. The realm in Black Souls is one of horrific events. Terrible murders, abominations, crimes against nature, disturbing magical spells, rape, murder, kidnapping, not petting the dog. The player can choose to become a monster that is quite at home in this crapsack world. Or you could choose not to and help your friends. Learn more about them. Try to be at least a seemingly nice person. It is your story to write. It is this freedom to choose, this agency that you have within the story, within the gameplay, within the battle strategy, within the character interactions, that I believe is the crux of what makes Black Souls feel so good to play. It feels like you're in a constant battle with the game to see who controls the direction of the story. As soon as you unravel a mystery, more questions arise. As soon as you start to feel empowered by your equipment and strategies, a new enemy immune to these blocks your path. It ties all of the elements together. Story, characters, quests, battles. All affect and elevate each other. There must be a word for this. Ludo narrative harmony! It's a dumb term that someone made up, but it's very useful to describe why I like Black Souls and many other games that I love. It's great game design when you have an overarching theme that feeds all other aspects of the game. You're encouraged to battle your own way. You're encouraged to go about the story your own way. And the thing that ties everything together is the direction that you take in this story, how you write it. It is engaging video game design that even a lot of AAA games fail to do. But this tiny Japanese porn game gets it right. You would be hard pressed to adapt Black Souls into a novel or a comic or a movie. It would just feel incomplete. Black Souls' the story with the gameplay elements doesn't work. Its battle system, even with all the strategy options, loses its impact and meaning without the fleshed out world behind it. It's an experience unique to video games. The freedom that it grants you, the agency you hold, makes for a world that is engaging, a world that matters to you. Because every way that you interact with the world as a player has meaning, has effect. You can choose to be a monster. You can choose to kill and rape. Or you can choose to keep exploring and find out just how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is why you should play Black Souls.